that the velocity in the x-direction throughout this whole trajectory, if there is no air drag, if there is no friction, is not changing. It's only the velocity in the y-direction that is changing. It means if I throw up this golf ball, I throw it up like this, and it has a certain component in x-direction, a certain velocity, if I move myself with exactly that same velocity, with exactly the same horizontal velocity, I could catch the ball here. We have here a, a gun, we can shoot up the golf ball, and we do that in such a way that the golf ball, if we do it correctly, exactly comes back here. There goes the gun. Here comes the ball. Give it a push. The gun will be triggered when the middle of the car is here. You ready for this? You ready? I'm ready. Physics works. You know what? I love this kind of clip. There's something so satisfying about seeing physics actually work in real life. Students light up when a concept behaves exactly the way the textbook promised. And this demo is such a clean example of projectile motion done right. The key idea here is simple. The car and the ball both start with the same horizontal velocity. And because there's no drag, that horizontal motion stays constant. They share the motion the whole time. Once students realize that horizontal and vertical motion are completely separate stories, projectile motion becomes way less intimidating. The X direction is steady and predictable. The y direction is chaos, gravity, pure vibes. Most students memorize the formulas but never actually see why the separation matters. This demo shows it in the clearest possible way. And honestly, understanding something as simple as this unlocks half the projectile motion questions in the exam. Follow for more A-level physics content like this.